Welcome to CCG TV, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes. I'm Gloria Weston Smart, the director for Keep Columbus Beautiful. And for those of you all who are tuning in for the very first time, our mission is to engage and educate individuals to be better stewards to our environment. So therefore, we try to bring you all some information that will help you be better prepared to be a good steward to our environment. Every time we come on the air, we're thinking of you and thinking of engaging you and being a good steward to our environment because we can't live without our environment. So if you're not recycling, please call 311 and request your recycling bin today. And also we have a couple of programs that we're gonna be talking about today. We certainly do need your help because there's trash all over Columbus. So we've been talking trash for almost a full year, trying to engage everyone to go outside of their door and clean up in their neighborhood. So we'll be talking about that a little bit later, but right now I wanna welcome my very first guest. He is John Barwick. He's with River Mills Data, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, John. And let me tell you how much we appreciate you being a part of our annual Earth Day recycling or shredding program, as well as our Help to Hooch. You all, you all help us with that too. So it's twice a year that you provide services for us to offer a wonderful opportunity for people in our community to bring their papers, their personal papers, so that they can be shredded. So tell us a little bit about you, John, and about um, River Mills Data. Okay. okay. Um, first of all, thank you for having me on your You're show, welcome. and thank you for the opportunity for us to provide these services to keep Columbus beautiful. I, we yes. think it's a great cause. We do too, thank you. Um, you know, we've, uh, we're a small business, um, but we provide services to local area, mm -hmm. parts of Alabama, and to the whole southern part of the state of Georgia. Oh, wonderful. And um, you know, the, the vast majority of our business is destroying confidential documents right. for businesses. Mm -hmm. And that's shredding them, and then that paper is gonna be used to make some new paper, right? We, oh. we take the paper that we shred, we bring it back to our warehouse. Okay. We bail that paper, and then we ship it out a couple of times a week to a paper mill, okay. and they make it into tissue paper. Wonderful. So tell our audience how important it is for them to properly dispose of their personal papers right now. Well, in, in today's environment, um, I'm sure there's very few people out there now that are not familiar with privacy laws. That's right. Okay. You're talking about HIPAA, in fact, uh, and numerous other laws. Okay. That, um, that require businesses, if they have any confidential information for a, one of their customers, that they can't just throw that in the trash. They have to destroy that uh, properly. Okay, good. Otherwise, they can be subject to uh, considerable fines. And then some of the items that we're talking about, we, what we'd like for our audience to bring, we want them to bring any old tax um, papers, any um, check stubs, um, any any credit card information, any bank statements, um, things that you may have just accumulated quite a bit of. And so on the, um, April the 20th, that is Earth Day, and we are going to have our paper shredding. We will be in two locations. We will be in the parking lot of Columbus Public Library, as well as in the parking, the parking lot of Big Lots. And the time that we're going to be there is gonna be between nine and one. So you all need to put that on your calendar. You have an offer, you have an, a wonderful opportunity to bring your um, personal papers there so that it can be shredded and we need you to come. So that's gonna be on April the 20th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the parking lots of the Columbus Public Library as as well as big lots. So make sure you plan to come out. And tell us again, um, where you all are located? Our offices are at 3715 First Avenue. It's in the old Bib mm -hmm. Mill. And so if any of our viewing audience would like to use you as a, uh, one of the businesses to come in, um, pick up some of their personal papers, how would they get in contact with you? you our, our website is rivermill.net. Okay. We're also in the yellow pages. Right. Um, you may call us, um, you know, we'll tell you, give you a rough estimate on what it will cost and we will put you on our schedule and provide that service to you. Well, wonderful. So what's the telephone number that they can call you on? 706-317-4716. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you again for taking time out of your day to come and be a part of our show. Um, we want to really remind you all again on April the 20th, we're celebrating 
um, Earth Day. We really do need to celebrate Earth Day every day, but this time we are offering an opportunity for you all to shred your personal papers. And just remember that from 9 a.m. until 1 a.m. we'll be in the parking lots of Columbus Public Library and at big lots right in the landing. So you, all you have to do is come. You won't have to get out of your car. We'll pick up, uh, come to your car and pick up your paper products. And then if you like to park and you want to see them being shredded, you can do that too. So we just need for you all to participate in our Earth Day um, paper shredding. But not only that, we also are going to have a community-wide cleanup. We're trying to engage every individual in our community to just go out into their community and clean up. Now, if you want to um, register a group, you can do that. Columbus, Keep Columbus Beautiful will provide for you trash bags and gloves so that you can uh, conduct your cleanup. We're asking you to do that between the hours of 9 and 1, 2. Um, so we really do need your support um, in helping us keep Columbus beautiful. You know, we're all individually responsible and collectively responsible. So it's important for us to take on our responsibility to be a good steward to our environment. And thank you again, John, for coming to our show. Well, thank you, Patty. And mm -hmm. we're looking forward to having you all on site and uh, on April the 20th, and, uh, and I'm hoping that we'll get a great turnout so you all will have tons and tons of paper, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you stay tuned because we'll be right back with another wonderful guest, someone you all have seen many times, and I tell you, he's been recycled on and off the Keep Columbus Beautiful board and been the recycled chair of our annual awards luncheon for so many years. I can't count them. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back, right back with Billy Kendall, Dr. William Billy Kendall. Man, I wish the city would fix these darn potholes. Someone needs to report this. Has this ever happened to you and you didn't know who to call? It's simple. Dial 311 or 706 653 4000. Columbus 311 Citizen Service Center. Our goal is to provide complete, accurate, and timely information to citizens and employees regarding complaints, inquiries, and requests for information. Columbus 311 Citizen Service Center, your direct link to city service. Welcome back to CCG TV, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes. And you know, I mentioned that we had Dr. Billy Kendall here with us and uh, telling you we are so thankful that he has been given his time, his talent, and his resources to keep Columbus beautiful over and over and over again. So if you can imagine the recycling loops, reuse, recycle, and reduce, he's been going around and around and around with Keep Columbus Beautiful. Welcome to the set. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. You know, Billy, I just feel like we are... Uh, We've been working together for such a long time, right. and uh, we just know each other um, really well. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being there. I can remember my very first day in the office in um, July of 2019, and Susan Culpepper told me, well, I know you know Dr. Billy Kendall, because everybody in the world knows him. He's the person who's over our awards lunch. And I was like, wow. Um, but I had not met you and talked with you prior to then, but it's almost 20 years. I know, it has Isn't been. On, on well, July 1st, it'll be 20 years. We, you know, and Keep Clumps Beautiful um, um, has been around for 31 years. That's right. And of course, you know, as we talk about Keep Clumps Beautiful, the, the focus is protecting our environment. That's right. Enhancing the beautification of the community. That's right. And of course, eliminating uh, litter, litter and, and blight. blight. That's right. So yeah, 31 years we've, uh, we've, uh, been involved in the community mm -hmm. and and I appreciate you too as well as uh, the commissioner but I, uh, commissioners but I also think the entire community appreciates Gloria Weston smart well I hope and, so and we what have, you've done to make yeah. um, life better here in Columbus well thank you for that I hope so because we really have worked hard these last um, 19 and a half years mm -hmm. and have gotten good support from our community right and really from our school Muskogee County School District you know you were um, there to make sure that they were engaged in our programs and projects and you still stayed on after you left because how many years has it been since you've been retired from a school county I, school I district? Have, uh, I retired in 2010 okay. from the superintendent's mm -hmm. office after 35 years Ooh. and um, um, was uh, lucky enough to uh, uh, to begin employment with Greystone Properties, and I've uh, yes. been there almost 18 years in, in reality. I can't believe it. Of course, I, I tell wow. everyone if you did That's the math, time. it sounds like I'm a 105 years little, old. Uh, I'm not quite that old Well, we won't say old old, that old, but we'll, <laughs> yeah. we will say seasoned. Uh, but uh, so I'm now with Greystone Properties. Good, yeah. wonderful. And you are, Greystone Properties has been a great um, um, 
company to work with too because yes. um, you all are recycling a lot of your multifamily dwellings with Greystone they're recycling right exactly and they're one of the very few in the community that are recycling mm -hmm. so we do appreciate that too right. well we really want to talk about our annual awards right. luncheon isn't that right yes because every year we have to pause right and go ahead on and well yeah. uh, it's um, of course coming up on Thursday mm -hmm. May the 9th mm -hmm. um, uh, the activities, the luncheon begins at 11.30 in the morning and we typically end right at 1 o'clock. We sure do. And um, it will be held again this year in the Cunningham Center there on the main campus of uh, CSU. Right. Um, let me say why I'm plugging the who, what, when and where about the, the project. Um, uh, the reservations, to make reservations, um, it's $30 for adults right. and uh, $20 for students 18 and, and younger. That's right. And um, to, to make a reservation, um, you uh, could uh, call the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission office. And of course, it's the easy way to, to go about that is just call 311. That's right. Um, and then you can also visit our website and the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission that's, Facebook that's to, right. to make those reservations. Now, what is it we're talking about for those that don't know? This is, again is our 27th year. 27 years. For the awards luncheon. That's wild. And it's an opportunity uh, for, for several things. Uh, to begin with, it's an opportunity for the organization, mm -hmm. the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission, to reflect back on what we have accomplished um, over the years, but more uh, right. specifically the past 12 months. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, a long list that I would let you address rather than myself because uh, there, there is something going on. Every uh, month. Every month, well, I was gonna say weekly, and I think it's closer <laughs> to weekly than monthly as it relates to KCBC. Mm -hmm. um, but specifically our, our annual luncheon and awards luncheon is to recognize and to honor um, individuals, mm -hmm. businesses, right. organizations, churches, schools That's right. that are addressing um, uh, the beautification projects, That's addressing right. uh, uh, being uh, good stewards of the environment, and um, and of course um, having projects that address the elimination of, of blight and litter. That's right. Um, now we have a theme every year, and our theme this year is is following. Our um, focus the last um, two years, and that's the talking trash. Talking trash. But our um, our um, theme this year is every litter bit um, hurts. hurts. Absolutely. So if you're in your driving in your car or walking, um, please don't be a litter bug. It's so important because um, when we ride through our communities, we just see so much trash. Mm -hmm throughout the community. Right. And it didn't just get there, it got there by human beings. Mm -hmm. And so we've just gotta be really careful about the way we um, dispose of our litter, our, of our trash. And, and people wonder, well, what is the definition for litter? And that is any uh, solid waste that's improperly placed. Mm -hmm. You know, so if it's not put in well, trash can. You, you know, I, um, I, I've said this several times, I, I think um, and not to not to pay, place blame on any individuals or group of individuals or mm -hmm. or age of right. individuals, but I, I know that um, um, uh, that uh, our citizens that are in my age bracket and as a child, mm -hmm. we um, um, it was just instilled in us. I, I, rem I remember the the anti litter campaigns that were that was a national was campaign. campaign. I mean, you uh -huh. saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, during commercial breaks and watching television, right. uh, you know, primarily uh, the the whole campaign was the um, focus um, of mm -hmm. Lady Bird Johnson, who was the first lady at mm -hmm. the time. So it was instilled in us um, not to litter. That's right. And I, you know, I anytime I even think about dropping that piece of paper, or whatever, my inner voice says, "Don't do that. Find a trash can." Absolutely. And that's what. We, I think we, we've just got to get back we to that. We just got to get back to yeah. that. And it starts as a personal uh, responsibility. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to feel that individually, personally, we need to make sure that we're not causing problems for our waterways, mm -hmm. you know, for our uh, wildlife that's there, um, uh, harmful environments for people to travel up and down on the roadways. Because, you know, people are traveling and they're not securing their loads. And so big bulky items that are on the roadways, they 
fell off some vehicle right, or something. Right. And people get killed from that. It's just, uh, it's so important just for all of us to make sure that we are aware, because when we know better, we will do better. Right. Hopefully. And of course it attracts rodents and from that Absolutely. health issues. That's right. But, um, uh, you know, there was a time, and we're going to get back there, there was a time that uh, you could ride around communities, and especially Columbus, um, mm -hmm. and uh, proud. I mean, I would hear this from visitors, mm -hmm. um, that our streets and sidewalks so were clean. so clean. That's what they So clean, saying. and now I'm, I, I, we, 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 we've gotten a little away we've from that. We've gotten a long way right. away from that. Right. You know, even right. placing your trash on the curb several days, sometimes a week before it's picked up. Mm -hmm. that it's, it's not good for the environment, it's uh, unsightly, and then, you know, it just invites um, animals to come in, turn mm -hmm. the trash can over, just tear up that bag and have trash strolled up and down our, our roadway. So right. it's important for us to do the right thing. So make sure that you secure your trash cans and your trash, place it in a can and uh, secure it. If, uh, don't put your trash can out um, until the day of the service. That will help a lot because you know when you're riding into communities, it looks better. It looks good when you don't look have to look at trash mm -hmm. and the furniture pieces. And if you know of someone who's moving and they they place some bulky items out on the curb, call 311 so that it can be addressed and those bulky items won't be out there for a long period of time. Uh, we need for you all to be the eyes, the ears, the mouth of our environment because the, it can't speak for itself. So, and we are actually benefiting from our environment, having life from our environment, but we're creating a horrible, horrible problem, so we need your help. So, we need for you all to make sure that you register to be a part of our April 20th citywide cleanup. Um, and if you need to have trash bags and gloves, you can let us know and we can get those to you so that you all can clean up right outside your door because it starts right outside your door. Our community starts right outside our door. Isn't that right? Right. And once they sign up for that, go ahead and make the reservations for the annual uh, Thursday, lunch. May the 9th, the annual awards <laughs> luncheon. And I tell you, it's um, not only, um, a, 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 again, an important event that we hold annually where we recognize um, That's right. organizations and individuals, um, but it's also, we, it's also an educational mm -hmm. um, event. We'll, we'll talk about uh, the, the problems with litter. And, and this year, I tell you, it's going to be high energy. We have um, Dylan Federico, who uh, is the weather anchor at uh, Channel 9, and Marcus Hammonds, who will be bringing us an invocation, but also right. performing for us. Okay. Uh, and the two of them are, if anyone knows or has seen them, they are um, high energy. Right. So it's going to be an energized program, if anything else. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, we also want to thank these businesses who, year after year, Support help us. to make that's right. um, the, um, the event um, possible, and that's AFLAC, that's right. uh, TSIS, um, West Rock, Kinetic Credit, Credit Union, right. uh, Greystone Properties, and Bloomers Lawn Service. We, we thank and Georgia each Power of those just companies and Georgia Power, That's excuse right. me, uh -huh. uh, and Georgia Power is with us every year too. Right. So we do thank those businesses and organizations for supporting uh, Keep Plum's Beautiful Commission and uh, specifically the annual luncheon. Absolutely, because yeah. we couldn't have that luncheon without their support. Right. And now I, I need to just say um, it's a secret, but it's not really a secret. But you know, I told you earlier that um, Dr. Kendall has been on the board of Keep Columbus Beautiful for years. I mean, given his time and talent, uh, making sure that uh, our awards luncheon is really the state of the art performance because uh, he does a lot of theater things. But I want to just let you all know that um, he will receive the Edna Kendrick Award for Keep Columbus Beautiful this year. And, and it's so de he's so deserving of that. Just not because he supported Keep Columbus Beautiful, but you see him all around town, everywhere, giving up his time, his talent, and his resources. So we want to thank you thank for you. allowing us the opportunity to honor you for the services that you have provided, not just to keep Columbus beautiful, but to this community at large. So you all don't want to miss that. So make sure you call and make your reservations or plan to attend. We'll be at the Cunningham Center on uh, May the 9th from 11 until 1, from 11.30 until 1. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful event because we also are going to have some students there that's right. going to be talking trash. Right. What is the Fountain City Slam group? Right. Yep, so I know they would, want, would not want to miss that too. Right.
All right. So thank you again, thank you. Dr. Kendall. We do appreciate you in so many ways. All right. So if you all stay tuned, I have something else to share with you. All of us share responsibility to keep Columbus beautiful. You may not intend to litter, but if you're not securing the items in the back of your pickup truck, you may be contributing to the problem. Please don't use your truck bed as a mobile trash can. It doesn't take much for the debris to blow out on our roadways, causing an unsightly and hazardous mess. Law enforcement is out ticketing litter bugs. So do your part, secure your load. Nobody likes a litter bug. We are talking trash. We're talking about litter. Litter is unsightly, unhealthy, and illegal. Um, we really have a, a big problem with littering on our roadways. So some of the litter that we are finding are bottles and cans. And, and that litter that's on the slide that you're seeing now is really from out of a car, a vehicle, or a truck, or something that's uh, on our roadways. Yes, litter, as we talk in trash, is unsightly, um, it's unhealthy, and it's, le uh, and it's illegal. Um, where does litter come from? Um, it comes from uh, household trash leftovers or spillovers from uh, garbage collections. Uh, it comes with overfilled dumpsters, mm -hmm. uh, loading docks, um, uh, constructions and uh, demolition sites, uh, trucks that um, have uncovered loads and represent uh, really about 40% of the trash on our highways are falling off of uh, uncovered loads in, in trucks. Uh, it comes from pedestrians, and, uh, and a, a, a good amount of our litter comes from us as we are uh, traveling around in our vehicles and decide to roll the window down and throw Roll something out on the highway. Unsight, un unsightly, unhealthy, and illegal. Who litters? 75% of Americans within this last five years have littered, and that is awful. Most common litter is um, really most common people that are littering are males between the age of 18 and 34. People who smoke usually sometimes are littering. Those uh, butts to cigarettes usually are on our roadways or thumped out in our yards. Um, people who eat fast food while they're driving, throwing those um, fast food containers out of the window. Uh, people who drive more than 50 miles a day sometimes if they're riding and eating then they'll throw the trash out of the window. Um, and then just people who are at the entertainment or going to a special outdoor entertainment or a sporting activity where they feel like it's somebody else's responsibility to clean up behind them instead of taking their trash to the next place. Now, why do people litter? And of course, there could be many, many reasons. Um, um, some of the reasons is just not being motivated to, to, um, to, to, th to uh, find a trash can to, uh, uh, to place their items in or to, to clean up. Um, uh, um, yard waste or, or something to that nature. Mm -hmm. um, just a lack of caring, a, a, yes, a lack of, uh, of education and knowing what the problems may be. Um, uh, litter uh, begets litter. The, you, uh, litter just keeps adding to litter. It just keeps mm -hmm. multiplying. Um, um, also, uh, why some people may litter is that they're just not aware of the consequences. You know, they don't think about it as we keep saying, talking right. the trash, mm -hmm. um, that, it's, um, that it's unsightly, it's unhealthy, and it's illegal. Um, uh, they have no sense of community pride and, um, and uh, 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 making sure that our life here um, it, um, it, it's, it's good and gets better, That's that right. it's the quality of life. They just don't have that sense of pride in, in, the, in the community and um, just a lack of education as it relates to um, uh, what litter brings to the quality of life and brings to each one of us, but also a lack of education on proper disposing That's right. of litter. Right. So, you know, it's important for us to make sure that we're not littering. Unsightly, and I know that you all drive uh, up and down the roadways and you'll see um, big bulky items that look like they've come from uh, evictions or someone moving. So it's important to make sure that we are um, taking care of our environment and calling those um, uh, those items in to 311. See, litter cost our community. 
Now, um, litter, of course, hurts all of us. Um, every year there's a, a, a numerous uh, vehicle accidents caused by litter. People avoiding something that has fallen in the middle of the road. And, and of course, unfortunately, accidents occur and possible injuries and deaths from that. Um, uh, young children uh, uh, fall on litter and, um, uh, as it uh, relates to litter that's been left on playgrounds. So mm -hmm. again, it's injuring our, our youth and um, injuring individuals as they're out in their roadways, out uh, along our sidewalks, community sidewalks, and, um, and then their beautiful green spaces and playgrounds. Right. Um, litter is harmful uh, to our natural environment, our watershed, our air quality, in our vegetation. Litter is illegal. A lot of people don't know that, but the Georgia law says that any thing that you throw out of your window or out, place outside, if it's placed out there, then it is um, illegal for them to do that. And you could be fined up to $1,000 or have 12 months in jail for littering. We just got to make sure that we're trying to in, engage our enforcement officers to help us um, by writing tickets and citing folks who are actually littering. Just remember that, you know, um, you can serve up to 12 months in jail or pay up to $1,000 for littering. Uh, KCBC, which is Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission, uh, litter enforcement training, um, I, the theme that we're using and the, and the, the, the motto uh, is throw trash, pay, pay cash. cash. Throw trash, pay cash. All right, so now, April through December 19th, we have a social media campaign. And that campaign, it will be found on our Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. On our, um, so we'd like for you all to hashtag KCBC Talking Trash. Uh, we will have some television uh, commercials. We will have um, some radio commercials um, with the leaders against litter. So we just need for you all to make sure that you will call 311 and, and report any litter that you might find on our major roadways. Hello, I'm Skip Henderson, the mayor of Columbus. Did you know that litter has a negative impact on our community? Join me in becoming a leader against litter. Together we can create a cleaner, safer, and more beautiful Columbus, Georgia. Hello, I am Mimi Woodson. Did you know that litter has a negative impact in our community? Join me in becoming a leader against litter. Together we can create a cleaner, safer, and more beautiful Columbus. Hello, I'm Bridget Downs with Columbus State University. Did you know that litter has a negative impact on our community? Join me in becoming a leader against litter. Together, we can create a cleaner, safer, and more beautiful Columbus. Hello, I'm William Kent. I'm a manager at Columbus Waterworks, but I'm also president of Keep Columbus Beautiful. Did you know that litter has a negative impact on our community? Join me in becoming a leader against litter. Together, we can create a safer and more beautiful Columbus. Yes. April 2019, I tell you, we're going to start with a wave by campaign. We have students from CSU, so we'll be in some key areas just waving by encouraging people not to litter on our roadways. And we do have some yard signs available for those of you all who may be interested. You can call 311 and request a yard sign. From this time forward to the end of the year, December, our, our uptown restaurants will be supporting the Talk and Trash campaign right. uh, by having some coasters Absolutely. that they'll have in their restaurants. That's right. And it's just to make sure that, bring about awareness, it's one of those education pieces. So um, our participating restaurants will be listed on the next slide. We certainly do appreciate their support um, in, with that. We couldn't make this happen without that. So we're, they're going to have coasters out um, for people to use. And on the coaster it says, throw trash, pay cash. Right. And uh, April the 20th, which is uh, next month, our citywide cleanup uh, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Uh, and April the 27th, our midtown cleanup from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Earth Day citywide cleanup. We really need you all to help us with this project because it won't be a success without your support. We need you to clean up outside your door. You can call 311X or Keep Columbus Beautiful. Um, we can register you on phone. You can go to our Facebook page or our website. And what we'd like for you to do is to get some of your children or people in your community and clean up your community. It's important for us to do that. 
and as you said, cleaning up uh, outside your own personal door, that's back right. door. Outside right. your door. And um, also in celebration of Earth Day on uh, Saturday, April the 20th, we'll be having a personal paper shredding. I take advantage of that every year myself. Yeah. And um, that's uh, uh, collecting all of the um, extra um, paper and uh, products and paper around your own home and especially anything that you would consider confidential and have it shredded. Yes, and we're so excited that um, the Midtown community is also going to have a cleanup on Saturday, April the 27th. And that cleanup will start from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. And it, our slogan is right outside your door. Clean up right outside your door. Uh, and um, our citywide um, uh, projects, uh, of course, uh, um, and the whole issue of uh, litter, it, it really can be eliminated by all of us. Right. Uh, so please don't litter. Place your trash in, in trash bins. That's right. So now we're asking you, because we're talking trash, what will you do? Will you not litter? Will you tell other people not to litter? Remember, it's up to us to make sure that we're doing our very best. I want you all to know that we appreciate you all tuning in to the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes right here on CCG TV. And we are really trying to stay, stay really focused on our mission, which is to engage and educate you all to be better stewards by enhancing beautification, eliminating litter and blight, and protecting our environment. And it can only happen with you. So thank you for tuning in. We'll look forward to seeing you the very next time right here on CCG TV, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes. Thank you.